UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks this weekend, a couple of games down in Princeton, a team actually that's in first place in the ECAC, pretty good opponent and uh, an important weekend I would think as we head toward the break. Yeah, it's another opportunity to uh, prove to ourselves what type of team we can be. You know, we're facing some adversity with the injuries, and we've had that all year. Uh, we've got a few more guys out. Chad Ruedel will not play this weekend, uh, as well as uh, Matt Ferrara has been unavailable to practice the entire week. Uh, Pat Say also got injured uh, last weekend, so he's not going to be available. So uh, there'll be some new guys in the lineup, some new challenges ahead of us, and uh, playing a very good team, a team that... Uh, is talented but really their talent lies in their work ethic they get after it really well they finish all their checks they're very tough to play against we'll have to really bring our compete level to uh, be able to give ourselves an opportunity to be successful I was going to say with the variety of injuries that we've had and as you've chronicled they've been mounting up this is the sort of thing that I suppose one of two things can happen either a team throws in the towel or a team comes together to battle adversity and this certainly seems like a hockey club that is unwilling to throw in the towel well, you know, we've shown that early in the year. We had a lot of resolve coming from behind, as we have all season, and getting some, you know, late ties and some victories and overcoming a two-goal deficit to beat, uh, you know, beat Providence and, and those types of things. So we'll be challenged again. Uh, it just it wears on you after a while, and it's very difficult. Plus, the stresses and of going through final exams. A lot of kids are taking some right now and take some next week. So yeah, you mount all that together, and it's a, it's a challenge to be able to maintain an acute level of focus. You know, when it's time for school, it's time for school. When it's time for academics, you know, and so forth. When it's time for athletics and hockey, then you got to focus on that. So, uh, you know, we have some opportunities for some guys that maybe don't play that much. Uh, maybe we didn't expect to play as much as they have so far in the first half, and they want to go out on a good note. There's a good opportunity for this team to send a message as they head to the break. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, every every time we tee it up is an opportunity. We work, work very hard to play the game, and you know it's limited the amount of games you play. And uh, now we've got a chance to go on the road and compete. And uh, we've played a lot of home games, and I think maybe getting together on the road and a few nights in a hotel might be good for our team. And I guess finally, the injuries. Does it force one to reconsider the style of play or or our approach to the game just because we've got such limited personnel at this point in numbers? Well, yes and no. I mean, we, we really we're uncertain of what some guys can do in some roles yet, so we can't define how that might change our, our makeup. But, uh, you know, ultimately, through chaos, find simplicity. That's something that we always harp on and just keep it simple and just, you know, Take you know, take manageable goals, you know, five-minute goals in each each period, and see see what you can do with those things. All right, coach, let's go get them. Thank you. Thank you.